Well, you ready for another case of the creepies and crawlies? Well then, fire up those chainsaws for some spine-tingling terror and make your way to the Knox Park Barn in McHenry, Illinois for the McHenry Area JC's Haunted House. Every year for the past 20 years, the McHenry Area JC's have been transforming the Knox Park Barn into a pure house of horror. As one of the McHenry Area JC's flagship events, their haunted house attracts guests from around the upper northern Illinois area. Matt from the McHenry area JC's tells us about this location and more about the haunted house. Well, McHenry JC's have been having the haunted house here for 20 years this year. So this year is our 20th anniversary and the barn itself is over 100 years old and it's owned by the city. They donate it to us every year so that's real nice of them. It's a real cool setting, set away, it's secluded, you can't see like the barn from the parking lot as you're walking up, so it's real neat. Matt, who serves as one of the builders for the Haunted House, now tells us about some of the Haunted House's new rooms this year. Yeah, we have uh, a f quite a few new things. We have uh, a new electric chair prop, that's a pneumatic prop. We have um, this maze with a custom tilted wall in it that kind of throws people for a loop. Some other... Uh, air machine gun, things of that nature. Right then, tell us how soon in advance do you have to prepare for something like this and how many committee meetings do you usually have? Well, we have a committee meeting every month of the year, and, but unfortunately we only get one month to build. That's it, because that's as soon as the city let us get in the barn because they store their equipment in here the rest of the year. So a month is all we have to prepare. Matt now tells us about who helps make the McHenry Area JC's Haunted House a success, mainly members of the community he knows. Um, it's mostly people from the community, mostly high school kids. There's an average of maybe six or seven JC's that come up here regularly to construct the Haunted House. But once it's open and running, we have more JC's come, on, come around and uh, help us run it and then uh, more high school kids and other people from the community come in and uh, help us run it once we're open. Right, and now as far as your costumes and your masks, are they something that you use over and over again? Or do you find yourself buying or getting things donated from year to year? Uh, all of the above, actually. We buy every year, we reuse, and people donate stuff to us. We had a lady from somewhere in Wisconsin donate a bunch of stuff to us this year. And uh, we went to a haunted house auction and bought a bunch of costumes there this year. Chuck Tonin from the McHenry Area JCs tells us more about this year's theme and how they try to have a different theme each year, but as they try to work in McHenry Area JCs haunted house into the title. Well, this year it's called uh, like Tour of Terror, and we try to come up with names. Um, we've basically been trying to stick with the McHenry JCs haunted house, kind of like the Lombard JCs. They stick with their name. Now, one thing I do want to mention that you are in the McHenry area, JCs, and I'm wondering what exactly is that area? So that would imply that you take in other towns too, as well. That is correct. Uh, Johnsburg, Wonder Lake, Lakemore, um, McHenry, of course. You, you go up this way toward, towards Crystal Lake. Right before there, you got Prairie Grove, and uh, yeah, so surrounding neighborhoods of McHenry. And as we were mentioning that you have a certain amount of committee meetings and you actually have one every year so throughout the year you're getting new ideas and you're taking more committee members throughout the year then? Yes, yes. We're uh, Every year we're always expanding on committee members and stuff. We normally have anywhere from five to six people and then it goes bigger as we go on. Chuck tells us about some of the rooms at the Haunted House. Well, we got our normal rooms. We have the car room and... Uh, we made some new mazes and made some longer hallways and started to elevate the floors. And as we were mentioning, a lot of different people from the community and a lot of JCs and a lot of high school students. Do you find yourself a lot of the same people being monsters or do people each year from year to year take a different position, maybe carpentry or setup or things like that? Yeah, I'd have to say uh, they do tend to move on from being monsters to actually building. Like uh, this year, our chairman is Joe Panic and Dean Pease. They usually did the monsters and stuff. Now they're building. He's in charge of the haunted house this year. So it's 
been working quite well with the high school people, teaching them new stuff every year. For more information about this year's McHenry area, JC's Haunted House, please take note of your screen. For more information on the McHenry area JC's, please also take note of your screen. A spooking we will go, and a happy Halloween.